All right. You heard about these travel warnings to the Bahamas? I'm just trying to get the latest one here, so I make sure I'm not saying anything wrong. All right. A lot of people didn't take them seriously, like me. Why? Because it didn't appear that any American tourists had been harmed. It looked like gang-on-gang -gang violence, okay? But now that's changed. Two moms from Kentucky went on a cruise together to the Bahamas. They dock at a local beach. They go out there to spend the day. The women say they were drugged, they were raped, and the Bahamian authorities treated them like criminals. Joining us now is Amber Shearer and Dongela Dobson, and their attorney, Nicholas Gerson. Counsel, thanks for being with us. Um, jump in as needed. First of all, ladies, I am very sorry to meet you under these circumstances, and I know that this is the last thing that you want front of mind, but I truly appreciate you wanting other people to understand the story so it doesn't happen again. Amber, I'll start with you. What do you want people yes. to know? I want people to be safe. And um, two is not enough. Don Gala and I thought as best friends, you know, the two of us, we've been together for two decades. We thought that we could protect each other and to be safe. And it's just, it's not enough. You shouldn't take any excursions that aren't directly with the resort you're booking, aren't directly with the cruise line that you're booking. You need to stay within those bounds. And you need to be aware because our cruise line did not make us aware of a travel advisory. We had no idea what was going on in the Bahamas. And None just to whatsoever. be clear, so people understand, and Dongela, you can pick up the story here. This is not about you guys going out and at four o'clock in the morning, things go sideways. You've given us a picture. You say you guys were offered a drink, buy one, get one free. It was the only drink yes. that you had. Uh, and there's a yes. picture of you guys on the beach enjoying yourselves. You're saying that this cut out pineapple thing, this was the drink. You had one drink, it was this <laughs> drink. And what happened so after you had it? I had the coconut and Don Gala had the pineapple and we were offered a two for one deal. And with as expensive as everything else was, we were like, okay, we we're catching a break. We'll do the two for one deal. Um, we felt the drinks were really strong, but Don Gala and I are both gastric sleeve patients. So our stomachs can't tolerate much. So we don't drink often anyways, but less than a few drinks into the second drink we knew something was wrong something like, was terribly wrong we have videos that we have taken on our phones 15 minutes between we when we first got the drink and 15 minutes later and our family and our friends are messaging us concerned about us like are you sure that you only had one drink is that all like are, are you guys okay like the they thought maybe we were fibbing a little bit to our friends about how much we'd actually had to drink. And I, it even had me questioning myself, well, well, Lord, how much did I drink? When we got back to Carnival Cruise Line and we were finally, finally given our rape kits, we were given toxicology kit tests and a breathalyzer. I blew zero point zero zero zero. I blew 0 0.006. We were not drunk. So we were not drunk at all. Understood. Amber, let's talk about what you what what did happen here. So you have the drink. You don't really know what's going on, but as Dongela just said, that your your friends and family were like, whoa, something's off. What happened next? What was done to you? We were taking photos um, in the ocean and... We kind of decided at this point, we want to get out of the ocean. We're feeling it a little bit. We're going to look for seashells for our kids. Mm -hmm. I found a little piece of like a conch shell, which I could send my one of them to go get it, but it's a little piece of a conch shell. Okay. And the guy that, the guy staff worker that had been there, he's like, oh, I know where tons of these are. So we'll, we'll take you over the there. The, the man in the photo, there was a man posted in one of my photos the man who raped me, he was the one that directed us as to where to go. To with, find the shells. To find the shells. Chris, if I... Uh, that may point Counsel? Yeah, uh, I wanted to, you know, point out um, one of the issues deal with Carnival specifically in this case is they have a legal duty to warn about dangerous conditions that right. they know, should have known about. 
And what's also remarkable in this case is there's a um, federal statute that's called the Cruise Ship Vessel Safety and Security Act of 2010 that requires victims of crime at high sea and being uh, in the Bahamas would constitute being at the, on the high seas. Uh, they're supposed to offer them contact with the FBI. Right. None of that was offered. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.